I'm Shelby Burton and thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. I really appreciate it. So today I want to talk to you guys about positivity and really no matter what happens in your life, if it's negative, you need to continue your path of your dreams and never give up. just stay positive keep swimming you'll be okay it'll work itself out when you're in a negative situation you just really want to punch that person in the face right I know it sounds completely mean but it's true because I have been there and I'm sure you have been there too if you guys don't know my story here's a little little tidbit so um I've grown up with a really loving family but then I found out that my family really wasn't the way that it was so it kind of turned my young adulthood life upside down I had a wonderful job I was going to college but life wasn't so beautiful I was in um, a really bad relationship with abuse and it seemed like everywhere I turned my luck just got worse and worse and worse and worse no matter what I did it just seemed like I couldn't get a break and that's how I felt like my whole entire life even when good things have happened to me um, you know I met my husband I had my son I have my daughter all of this great stuff but in those great things there's always things that were trying to bring me down and were so negative um, my husband ended up getting a job when we got married so he was gone <laughs> he literally came up for the wedding day and the next day he was gone my dog got parvo the day after we got married so i mean all these little things that have happened in my life have been negative but i've always looked to have the positive like my dog's still alive he survived my husband now has a wonderful job that supports my family and my kids and myself to be able to no longer work in a job that is negative and just taxing on me. I'm able to do something that I love to do. And that's share my passion with all of you guys and be there for my kids. So things that seem negative, there is really good outcomes if you just continue to be grateful for what you have and realize that out of every darkness, the light will come. Just like when we were looking for our house, we knew we wanted to move. However, we were piled in debt. I had just decided to stay home with the kids. So we went from two incomes. And at that time, I was making you know, more money than my husband. And so it was dramatically a drop. So we went to only one income. And I'm here with, with my kids in, in debt. And we, didn't, we were looking for a new house. You know, we wanted all these things but yet we did not know the means or the way and so we never gave up we never gave up and guess how long it took us to find the house that we really wanted that fit all our needs five years people five years five years of paying off debt five years of looking at i'm gonna say millions but it was probably only you know like i'd say 10 to 15 homes we live in a really small town so what we were looking for was very hard to find we put offers on houses and we'd always get outbid or something shady would happen and somebody else would get it so it was really really negative we wanted to give up but we knew we couldn't because this was our dream we wanted to continue and so we kept we kept working and we kept working and guess what we got the house we were so excited it's been a great place however then the well and the septic and went out on us we had to replace that the roof went out so we had to get that fixed so i mean all these negative things are now happening to this wonderful thing that we finally achieved and we're thinking yay we can you know make it our dreams we can start enjoying life but things happen. But did we give up? No, we're back in debt again. But you know, that's because of these things that we did not realize were going to happen. We're not out there buying new trucks or <laughs> things that we don't need because we know that where we're at is where we're supposed to be and we can get to where we want by just staying positive, putting out those dreams, 
planning a goal, not worrying about the how, but just knowing the why and where we want to be. And so this month we did, we got the septic fixed after over a year and a half. The well is fixed. So the house is coming together. We got the chicken coop done. So it's one project after another with staying positive. And I know you're asking, how do I stay positive when all these negative things are coming around me? How do you get that out of your head? Well, I'll be honest with you. It's not easy. And it's especially not easy if you're living with somebody else. If you have a, another person, a spouse or a significant other that you're living with and they start to go negative or you start to go negative and you're both negative. You know, how do you get out of that? Well, I'll be honest with you. It takes a lot of work. All right. It's not going to happen overnight and you have to be meaningful with it. So that means every morning when you get up, even if you're not in the house that you want, even if you're not driving the car that you want, even if you're not at the job that you desire or you're passionate about, you get up every morning and you just be grateful for what you have. Be grateful that you woke up that morning. Be grateful you have a job too. Be grateful that you slept in a house and not under a bridge in the freezing cold somewhere. Be grateful that you have a car to get you back and forth to work. Be grateful that you live with a significant other. Be grateful you have kids even though you want to pull your hair out every day. Be grateful for the things that you have around you and that will then start to change your mindset of, you know what, yeah, it may not be where I want to be right now, but that's okay because I have bigger dreams, I have bigger goals, and that's what we need to do. We always need to be in the pursuit for better, but we need to be grateful for what we have and where we are now and the lessons that we're learning. Everything that we have gone through is a lesson learned, and it needs to be learned in love. So instead of looking at the negativity of, oh my gosh, my septic broke, my well broke, we are now $60,000 in debt, and we wanted to use that $60,000 for something different, However, we now have a well, we have running water. The well is gonna be good for the next 20 years that we live here. The septic is fixed. We can now use our toilets. <laughs> we can now have people over and not have to worry about the toilets not flushing. We know that the septic's gonna work for the next 20 years. It's brand new, all right? So always look for the positive in things. It's a learning lesson. Things happen that are out of our control, and yes, I get that. Like I said, it's been there, done that. But you have to take that lesson and learn from it. People are gonna do you wrong. I can tell you that right now. People are going to see that you're positive or that you have something that they want or they're jealous or there's just plain evil mean people out there in the world, okay? But you have to move past that. You cannot stick in their world. You cannot let their vibes, you know, hurt you. You have to be positive. You have to put out positive vibes. Continue saying to yourself, you know, I am worthy of this, ABC. I am thankful for ABC, whatever you want. I am thankful for the brand new car that I was able to get. I am thankful for this job that I'm now passionate about. I am thankful for the love of my life that came into my life when I thought nobody would. I am thankful for my surroundings. Keep putting out what you want and be thankful for it like you already have it and it will change your mindset. It will change your life. And I know you're like, okay, you're crazy. Where are you getting all of this at? There's studies, there's research. If you haven't read The Secret, um, I would definitely read it or watch it on, it's on YouTube, Netflix, anywhere, it's, it's there. You can go get it for free, watch The Secret, and there's tons of other books, The Power, Love, Money, whatever you're looking for, you need to start putting that stuff into your body. Take two seconds while you're driving to work and start listening in the car to positive affirmations. As you're driving, if you don't have a radio in your car, as you're driving, just say to yourself, today was a great day. I am so successful. I strive for significance. I strive and I am passionate about for what I do. I am here to help others win. You know, be grateful and just continue to say that in your head. You know, if it's money, I now learn to say money comes easily and frequently, which 
if you know a year ago I would have said no it does not I always would tell my kids you know we can't afford that I would tell my husband I hate being this way because I feel like I'm always the bad person because I'm telling you you can't get that we can't afford it well instead I have changed my wording I have changed my thought process of money comes easily and frequently and at this point right now we do not need that we may get it later down the road those are the wordings that I choose when my kids say I want this and I say you know what right now we don't need that maybe later down the road we can need that and we can get that same thing we don't need to do this right now maybe tomorrow we will or you know we'll, we'll do that yes and we'll not do this you know so taking trades off but never saying I can't afford it or no we can't do it uh, is going to put that mindset and put those vibes out and that's what you're going to get whatever you put out and whatever you are feeling inside here is what your life is gonna be so that is the note I want to leave you guys on so no matter what you're facing no matter where you're at continue to dream big continue to put that positivity out there and never give up if you want something bad enough it will come to you even when it seems like that it's not going to don't give up because you never know it could be right there ready just ready around the corner and you give up and you stop and it's and it's gone all right so please 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 get, be positive and pass this on to everybody pass it on to people that may need it pass it on to people that you love and care about because we all need a little bit of positive positivity in our life all right well you guys have a wonderful day please make sure that you hit subscribe i would really appreciate it and please share my channel with anybody that can relate and can use this information you guys have a wonderful day.